It's been 25 years since Nirmal Singh Gill was brutally beaten to death in the parking lot of Gurunanak Sikh Gurdwara in Surrey. A year later, five men identifying as white supremacists were sentenced for his killing, a revelation that sent shockwaves through the community. It was a very sad time, a very difficult time, when a senior, you know, who was uh, working at the uh, Gurdwara church, right, it was killed by the young men, and they killed this person for no reason at all, other than the hate uh, they've been uh, taught by their friends or the group or the organization they belong to. Imtiaz Popat was fresh out of film school when he started documenting the aftermath of the tragedy. This event was a pivotal point in my life because it was a shock, right? And it has shaped my uh, anti-racist activism, my journalism, my film work, uh, to talk about the hate that was happening 25 years ago, it continues today too. For years, Popat has been working on his documentary, Hate Can Kill. Now he's finally ready to show it to the public. I think it's important that we need to remember, or at least uh, look at what's going on and what is being done and what is not being done. I mean, there is still no clarity on uh, hate crime legislation, hate crime laws or what they can be done. While the crime is 25 years old, hate crimes like it are on the rise. A recent report by BC Human Rights Commissioner indicates a steep increase in police reported hate crimes over the last few years, with an increased spike in hate crimes against Asian community during the pandemic. Sometimes we forget about it because we don't have any reference point to the past, right? And then we can't move forward. I think the new generation, there's lots of Indo-Canadians are coming in, people from other parts of the world coming in here, for them to realize what the world was like. The documentary has been accepted at Montreal's South Asian Film Festival and will be screened in May this year. Another screening has been planned in Surrey this Sunday. Saurabh Sandhu, CBC News, Surrey.